Hello everyone, my name is Luis Angel Cantola and today I'm going to talk a little bit of Elliot Porter. So, uh, we were, I just I, I decided to do him because I really like his photos. I'm going to talk a little bit more uh, through the, the slides, but yeah, I decided to do him because I really like enjoy his photographs. So, let's start. Uh, Elliot Porter's Porter, he was born in December 6, 1901. And uh, he died on November 2 of 99. Was an American photographer, was best known for his colorful photographs of nature. For example, sorry for that. For example, we have this picture over here, that one. So I really enjoy, I think I'm, I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be a lake. I'm not, maybe it's a floor, I don't know. We, we cannot see, I cannot differentiate. But we have a lot of colors in there. We can, you can, you can see we have the red through all the way to black. So we have a different palette. We have gray, we have white, a little bit red, orange, yellow, black, as I said before. And uh, it's not normal to see all of these colors in the same picture, you know? So it's just amazing that someone could do it in that way. It was really easy for him because he, all the pictures of him was the same way. So yeah. And the other one, you're gonna see that picture again. The second one on the right, that's gonna be a type of wood. You can see a lot of trees with uh, pink uh, flowers. And you can see the background is gonna be like a type of blue, greenish, gray colors. It just, it just looks amazing for a, a cell phone background or something like that. So yeah, let's continue. So early life and education. So. Before starting, his father, uh, James Porter, was insisting to him to have nature and science to his son. So, by doing this, they were, the family had, a, uh, had a, an island that was called Maine's Great Spruce Head Island. That one, they were living there, they were on vacations, we don't know, but that was the, how would I say it? That was the initiative for his son to love nature. That's why he their pictures, their photos are basically nature. And the science part, because he has a, a bachelor's degree of medicine, he has a bachelor's of arts, and then he was a chemical engineer as well. So we have a lot of stuff going by his side. Next one. So personal life. Uh, his brother, Fairfield, Porter was a release painter, so why not? We have a photographer, we have a painter, the, the, the family is going to be about art, basically. So so it was good having more, more artists in the family, so it's going to be more normal and more good to passing things out, right? Next one we have is uh, his brother-in-law, Michael Wistrauss, was a commissioner of the United States Bureau of Reclamation. He was married, and he, he was got divorced in 1934, and he got married again with Aileen Kilham in 1936. And the two moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico, together, living in the Tezuque, New Mexico, from 1946. Next one, his career. So, we see this picture we saw before, that's from his book. So basically, he wanted to publish his photos with uh, quotes from Henry David Thoreau, so that's what his inspiration to him. That's what that was what he wanted. So he did it with his book. Now, in the future, Elliot uh, Porter was exhibited in intimate landscapes. So this one is gonna be a museum of art. But basically, they wanted to do all landscapes. They wanted to know nature. They wanted to have. Uh, close range, uh, quiet compositions of natural elements with muted colors and dense textures. That's what he, the museum wanted to project. So he was chose to do that one in New York. So here are the good photos for me. I really like them. We have uh, we have a contrast there, these two on the left, and we have when we have like type of canyons in the right. I really like the photos, they're just amazing to do and to see. So if you have any questions, you want to know more about him, just tell me and thanks for seeing me.